Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Today, I'd like to start a new series of discussion, which is the modes of radio wave propagation. This, we will have a series discussion. In this series discussion, I'm going to discuss all the different possible modes of radio wave propagation. For this video, which is the part one series discussion, I'm going to concentrate on ground wave, which is also known as surface wave. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much. This diagram here shows all the possible modes of radio wave propagation, which I'm going to discuss on the series discussion. This is the transmitter antenna. This is the receiver antenna. Let's start the discussion from the top. This is what we call the sky wave. From here, you can see that the transmitter antenna intent is to shoot the electromagnetic wave aimed towards the sky. And the electromagnetic wave propagate hit the atmosphere, reflected back, and finally come back to the earth and received by the receiver antenna. So this is what we call the sky wave. Next will be the tripospheric propagation. From here, you can see that instead of direct line of sight, the path of electromagnetic wave actually bends slightly because of the different density of the atmosphere. And this is what we call tripospheric propagation. Next, we have this direct line of sight. This direct line of sight is the shortest distance between the transmitter and the receiver. In short, you can see that this is a direct path from the transmitter to the receiver. That's also another example, which is also called the direct wave from the satellite all the way to the receiver antenna without any reflection, without any distortion of the path. Basically, it's one straight line. So this is what we call the direct light of sight wave. Next, we have this ground reflected wave. It's almost quite similar with sky wave. Basically, the refract mechanism will be from the earth. Can you see over here, the electromagnetic wave hit the earth ground and reflected back all the way to the receiver antenna. And this is what we are going to discuss today. We are going to discuss on the surface wave, you can see over here, the transmitter electromagnetic wave actually propagate along the Earth's surface. The Earth's surface become the characteristics to carry the electromagnetic wave from the transmitter to the receiver. So this is our emphasis for this video on the surface wave. This diagram here shows the ground wave propagation. Let's start by defining what is ground wave propagation. A ground wave is an EM wave that travels along the surface of the Earth from the transmitter to the receiver. You can see from here, for example, this is a transmitter. This is a receiver. They basically travel along the surface of the Earth. You can see over here how the signal actually transmit from the transmitter to the receiver, they actually propagate on the surface of the earth. As such, they are sometimes also known as surface wave, okay, because they appear on the surface, hence we also call this surface wave. As the radio wave travel over hills or building, they are diffracted. Okay, we can see from here, okay, let's say this is a small hill, you can see the, the mechanism here, Okay, this tends to make the wave follow the curvature of the Earth. So this is what it means here. So in short, okay, the surface wave or the ground wave actually follow the contour from the transmitter to the receiver. 
And basically, you can see that this is basically the path of electromagnetic wave. Next, okay, we talk about ground wave. Ground wave remain relatively unaffected by changes in the Earth atmosphere. Okay, because in the Earth atmosphere is too far away, so basically this ground wave will not be affected by the Earth atmosphere. They are affected only by the electrical characteristics of the Earth's surface. Okay, which means that this actually affect because of the electrical characteristic of the Earth. Okay, whether is it the conductivity or the dielectric constant of the Earth, they basically will affect how the ground wave actually can propagate or how far the ground wave can be propagated. Okay, basically it's determined by the conductivity and the dielectric constant of the Earth. Ground wave must be vertically polarization. Okay, I have put these two, horizontal polarized and vertical polarized. The electric field in a horizontal polarized wave will be parallel to the Earth's surface and such wave will be short circuit by the conductivity of the Earth's surface. So if we have this horizontal polarization, okay, this is what you mean. So because of this horizontal surface area actually contact directly to the Earth's surface, okay, they will be actually short circuit. Okay, as for vertical polarization, okay, the exposed surface area is much, much lesser. Hence, in this form here, it actually encourage the propagation on the surface wave. Hence, for ground wave or surface wave, they must be vertically polarization. So this is what it means. With ground wave, the changing electric field will induce voltage in the Earth's surface, which will cause current to flow in the Earth's surface. Okay, so this is what I have explained earlier on on the previous slide. The electromagnetic wave actually induces a voltage onto the Earth's surface. Then, because of this, it causes a current to flow, and uh, this is how the signal actually starts to propagate. Earth's surface has resistance and also dielectric loss. And therefore, ground waves are antenated as they propagate. We know this, okay, when you actually, electromagnetic waves actually propagate, the signal actually becomes smaller and smaller. We can't stop this. This is basically the characteristic because every so-called item, they actually have the resistance and also the dielectric loss. And because of this, the signal becomes smaller and smaller. And hence, only short distance transmission is achieved through the use of ground wave. Ground wave propagates best over a surface that is good conductor, such as salt water, but propagate poorly over dry desert area. Okay, which means that ground wave actually can propagate much better in a good conductor ground, for example, salt water. In the sea, for example, they actually can be propagate very, very far away. Okay, because of this, Ground wave is actually suitable for ship to ship communication or ship to shore communication, which I'm going to illustrate later on. However, ground wave or surface wave, they probably cannot propagate well in a dry desert area. At frequency below 1.5 megahertz, so this is typically the ground wave frequency. Ground wave provide the best coverage. Okay, so basically, ground wave has the best coverage if the frequency is below 1.5 MHz. This is because ground wave loss increase rapidly with increasing frequency. The higher the frequency, the higher the loss. So therefore, ground wave propagation does not actually transmit at a high frequency. Okay, this is what I have told you earlier. Okay, because in the sea, typically it's salt water, which is a good conductor. Because of this, hence, okay, it's, it's actually very common to have a ship-to-ship -ship or ship-to-shore communication. Okay, so this is one form that actually communicate between the ship to the shore by using the ground wave propagation. Let's come to the last slide for this ground wave propagation. Let me state the advantages and also the disadvantages of ground wave. Given enough transmit power, a ground wave can be used to communicate for a long reach beyond your imagination. 
So this is, for example, in a ship-to-ship communication, okay, because of the good conductor, okay, this ground wave is actually suitable to carry the electromagnetic wave from the transmitter to the receiver. Okay, ground waves are relatively unaffected by changing atmosphere condition. Okay, our atmosphere condition keep on changing, okay, be it the day, night, it continues change. Okay, but these changes is not going to affect my ground wave. So hence, because of this, okay, I can more or less predict whether the receiver will be able to receive via ground wave. Let's come to the disadvantage of ground wave. Ground wave require a relative high transmission power. Okay, in order for them to start to propagate, I need to induce high enough voltage. And because of this, the transmission power need to be reasonable high. Since ground waves are limited to very low frequency, low frequency and medium frequency, typically they require a very large antenna. Ground laws, okay, they can be very considerable with the different surface material which I have mentioned earlier on. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please stop to like and subscribe. Once again, Thank you so much for the strong support. See you guys.